Dylan and Heather. Oh boy. After the show at the DMV, Heather slowed down just enough for me to snatch the keys out of the ignition after I threw it in the park. You bitch! You bitch! Word. Why is she so angry? Why is she this angry? And also, smart move. I don't know where he learned that, but I guess that's the only thing he could do. Just pull the key out and yeah. Wow. This is embarrassing. In public with people around watching. I hate you. I'm on parole and someone could easily call the police and they'll come take me away immediately. Why is that not clicking with Heather? That's what I want to know. Why is nothing in her mind telling her that I need to do whatever I can do to protect this man or he will be going back to prison and I'll have to miss him for another five years possibly for however long. Why is that not clicking in her mind that the more of a fuss that she makes, the worse it is for Dylan? Give me my phone. Put it through the crack and get out of my life. I have get out of your life for what? What did he do? What did this guy do? If anything, he should be this angry at you because you made it that he now couldn't get his driver's license. And sure, maybe he can get it another time, but that's not the point. You thought that makeup was way more important than him getting to his appointment on time. And now you're mad and telling him to get out of your life. I just don't understand this very misplaced and weird anger that she's got going on. Where to go? I live with you. That's the worst thing. When you're dependent on other people and you don't have your ish together, they can do this to you. That's that's the problem. I have no money. I have no phone. So I had to run to the crew and beg to borrow one of their phones. They would have given you the phone. To catch an Uber. This is sad. They got my man Dylan over here crying. Like, he was crying so much. He was ugly crying. Although, I don't know if you can ugly cry if you're Dylan because... But anyway, yeah, it, it hit him hard as it would anybody. This is devastating. Ever since this guy came out of prison, which I think is the day before or two days before, something like that. It's just been crazy. It's just been crazy. This guy has not had peace. He's not had joy at all. So then he goes to meet his mom and his auntie at a restaurant. And you're like, oh, he's got family. Why is he with? Never mind. I decided to just call my mom and my aunt. Like, there's a parole officer, there's Aunt Diane. I was supposed to go get my driver's license this morning. Did you get it? No, we get there late. She was speeding. And nah, tell the whole story, bruh. She was putting on makeup and that's why we got there late. And then she started spazzing out when I started telling her, yo, when I started just joking about it, she went crazy and just kind of left me hanging on the side of the street. In the car, and she was crying and freaking out. She's flying through the alley. She's not stopping at stop sign. She's running lights. Oh my God. It's a miracle you didn't get arrested. Yeah. And my mom was very supportive through my entire prison experience. And I only got to see her a few times. Ah. Oh. Is that because your mom lived in another state or she was really far away or something happened or is that why your mom only got to see you a few times? Tell us Dylan. Because Heather would go ballistic saying that my mom was trying to monopolize all of the visits. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. That is wild. That is wild. So because of Heather, he didn't get to see his mom. His own mom, his own mom. Hey, wow. He did whatever she could, you know, to make it work for me for five years. <sighs> yeah, five years is a long time. This is the kind of thing. It's like, it's like what um, Quaylon's mom said about Chevelle. That Quaylon is probably with her because of some kind of guilt as well, right? Dylan might be having the same the same thing going on, right? He was, he, he's 30 now, so he would have been 25 when he went in, some some thereabouts. And yeah, you know, uh, he's now out and maybe he would want to, you know, see other other things, explore new things. Now that he's a man, man, and he's grown and he's come to his senses and doesn't want to live that life anymore. Um, but, um, hmm, well, <laughs> ah, mm, well, whew. yeah, so he's feeling the guilt. I can understand that but this woman will get him right back in there she has no problem like acting up 
doing what she's doing and getting him right back in there like this wild also i realized these people are sitting at this table right at this restaurant called harris harrison's hmm. and um they're not buying anything they're just sitting there chit-chatting i remember a few years ago when <laughs> some two black dudes went to a restaurant like this and they were waiting for somebody no this is starbucks actually and yeah somebody called the cops on them because they were just waiting there for their other person to arrive but these people are just sitting there with not even a glass of water nothing they just came there to meet blah 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 and they will le bounce i don't know i don't know what the plan is maybe they will have something to drink or to eat or whatever i just thought that was very interesting <laughs> and it's heather was there for me when i really needed her she has a very strong sense of loyalty or obsession and cares about me unconditionally come with us okay. mm -hmm. right. That's what we're here. yeah 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 no like definitely <laughs> positively go with them now run like the bag that he's got on his back that's cool that's good enough like he should just go this is wild this is crazy you do not want to be associated with this woman at all like mm? i'm even happy that he has family they're close by they're not like in another state like some of these couples like this is this is good he looks sad today but hopefully that will change in any case if you're not already part of this family make sure you hit bump stop button on the subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think like because you always like this video and hit the notification bell while so you're at it i'll see you in the next one which will be tomorrow daily videos up in here not only love after lock up other videos too and uh, yeah make time for glorious life it's time to start what let me try it god bless mm -hmm.